we all remember that but the, the moment we get down at Kanyangat station and get into the auto rickshaw or taxi, it will be building up in our heart, you know, the anxiety. And the moment we get down at the black post, how excitedly we will be rushing towards Puja Mother in the road. And the moment we see her, that is enough. And then she come here and the Bane Hall, where Papa is present, is felt around. It is not an image. But much of influence he made on us. And that is why we kept coming here. We did not know much about Guru Tattva. We did not know anything about spirituality. But he slowly, indirectly, he made us to go within, within, within. And made us to realize that God and Guru are within. So at no time you are away from the Prabhadrishti of your Guru. Only thing is you have to become aware. All your sadhana is only to become aware that this Kripadrishti is always there. When me and mine predominates, I am unable to experience his presence. So now I am trying my level best to see that his presence is always felt. And this so-called me and mine is a Sakti is acting purely because of his will. Papa, so many, through so many quotations, you know, he made us to weave in our present life with the, with whatever we have heard. Our present life is not different from spiritual life. This is the first lesson Papa made us, or Puja Mataji made us to understand. In his own words, spirituality that cannot be applied in actual life is no spirituality. Unknowingly, unwittingly, we have been separating the spirituality from the common run of life. It is not, it is not, it is not. He emphatically said, during the chanting of the holy and all-powerful Ramana, whatever we are trying to uh, experience, that should be there even while we are not chanting. He put it in simple words. Outer activity should be compatible with inner aspiration. So that means there is no separation between spiritual and worldly. Everything is spiritual only. Because at no time he is away from us. He is in the form of spirit. Atma. Even if we forget him, even if we ignore him, even if we deny him, he doesn't leave us. So we, when we think about all these things, you know, the uh, reverence wells up in our heart. In spite of all my clips, you continue to still shower your praise on me. Why don't you please make me aware of your presence always? If you think I am not fit enough to, mature enough to sustain this remembrance, at least give me some glimpses every now and then, so that I will be more and more turning towards it. You facilitated through my spiritual preceptor that there is absolutely no divide between this life and spiritual life. All these years we have been thinking Gavahari life is different from spiritual life. Even when people who have been coming to Ashram used to feel, no, oh, we cannot concentrate because there should be a total cutoff. No? Yes, initially there should be a cutoff. Mentally, not geographically or physically. That means there, there should be an exclusiveness, no doubt about it. But the exclusiveness should enable us to realize that he is there every time in, in all at all places, at all times. In Bhagavad Gita he says, you know, Prasma Sarveshu Kareshu Ma Anusmari Yudha. Therefore, at all times and in all places, remember me and fight the battle of life. So this is what Papa has been hammering into our brain. 
And today, we especially remember you because if we have not been given this opportunity to get in touch with you, we would not have been able to know. Yesterday we were sharing some well known. Profile, one of his beautiful quotations says, There is no need for an intermediary in spiritual life. Somebody requested him to pray to God for something. So he writes, there is no need for a, God does not need an intermediary. God does not need an intermediary. If you think God can talk through Ramdas, he can talk through you as well. Because you cannot exclude for partiality. Switch on your wire for direct communication. Why do you deny him in your heart? That last line, we used to complain to Papa. You say that there is no need for an intermediary. But if you are not there, how will we know? So we need an intermediary, but at the same time, we should know that what you have said, it should become a part of my life. And the last line, why do you deny him in your heart? So the moment we are seeking outside, it is indirectly denying him in our heart. So every now and then we have to go look within and find out. Whenever we find there are no answers coming, we go to the outer Guru Lord out. And he will direct us to get the answer from within. So on this Guru Purnima day, let us all try to remember all that we have been blessed with. And then we pray to him. In spite of your pouring your grace on us, still our attractions are not fully concentrated on you. It goes here and there. So the exclusiveness has not still developed. Kindly bless us to have that exclusiveness. So that I will be able to remember you at all times, in all conditions, through all individuals, through all objects. Yes, now we remember one more. Uh, many of you might be knowing. Uh, when Sri Raghavan from Manjeri used to come here regularly, he is 85 plus or something. Even today when the Ramnam is going on, he will not be able to sit quiet. Even at this age, a top voice, he used to enjoy the academy. He comes here all the way and spends the whole time only in chanting Ramnam. He was telling us, sometime in 63, 62 or 62 or 63, he is a regular goer to Sri Ramakrishna Ashram in Trichu. So at that time, the head of the institution was one of Swami Ishwanandji Maharaj, the highly involved soul. We had the privilege of painting him. He will look exactly like Papa, exactly like Papa, facially. So this Raghavan and went and asked him, is there any god soul in Kerala where we can have in Russia? Then immediately he called him and said, Russia, there is only one now, that is in Ananda You need Papa. And Raghavan was telling, at that time somehow God did not wish that I should take up a trip and and when it was 63, he came to know Papa had attained Samadhi. But he said that word, you know, a person of stature of Swami Ishwanji Maharaj, immediately urging him to rush up and to have the darshan of Papa. Because uh, people would have stayed the heights, but a, 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 an evolved soul, an evolved Mahatma, when he says that somebody is there who has got the Purnatva, then you know um, our attitude, our, our we cannot say what wells up in our mind. We get a we get an interpretation of what is Purnatva, no that. Full. And Papa says blissful, 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 this Purnatva. So we are all 
blessed people to be under the under the wings of Papa. So we now pray to him. You are now there in our heart in the form of remembrance. So now kindly guide us. Do not hide yourself. Whenever me and mine comes in to play, please don't. You come out. You break that me and mine. Make me aware that you are with me. You have been with me. You are with me. And you will continue to be with me. With this prayer, we prostrate before you mentally. Hari Om. Om Shri Ram. Jai Ram. Jai Jai Ram. Prayer for world peace. Adorable presence, thou who art within and without, above and below and all around, thou who art interpenetrating the very cells of my being, thou who art the eye of our eyes, the ear of our ears, the heart of our hearts, Mind of our minds, mind of our minds, the breath of our breaths, the breath of our breaths, the life of our lives, the life of our lives, and the soul of our souls, and the soul of our souls. Blessed dear God, blessed dear God, to be aware of Thy presence, to be aware of Thy presence. Now we are here. Now we are here. This is all that we ask of Thee. May all of us be aware of Thy presence in the east and the west, in the north and the south. May peace and goodwill abide among individuals as well as communities and nations. This is our earnest prayer. May peace be unto all. Om Tatsat Om. Om Tatsat Om. Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. Om Shri Ram Jai Ram Jai Jai Ram. Wherever Papa was using the word Ram, for the Almighty Lord of the Universe, Pooja Madhaji, after obtaining permission from Papa, started using the word Papa, wherever Papa had used for Ram. So, in order to make us understand the Dharmuna Tattva, Mataji also brought out the next prayer. O beginningless and endless Parampuja Bhappa, you are all pervading. You have manifested as the entire universe and you reside in everything. We pray for your blessings, we pray for your blessings, for the eradication of all, eradication of all conflicts and fights, all conflicts and fights in all parts of the world, all parts of the world, and for the bestowal of, the bestowal of peace and happiness, peace and happiness on one and all, on one and all, within and without. Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Jai Ram. Universal prayer, no need to repeat. But at the same time, we will all try our maximum to travel with the team. <coughs> Universal prayer is the quintessence of Papa's teachings. The wisdom teaching has been distilled and brought out in the form of universal prayer. So if we travel with the team, Though we would not have, though we may commit and we would not have attained, but still that will make us to commit ourselves, you know? especially the second language, the second, the third sentence. O Lord of the universe, O creator, protector and destroyer of the world, I come in all humility to thy holy feet and surrender myself entirely to thee. This is the one. We have not been able to, but every day we have been asked to repeat it. So that one day we will be able to surrender ourselves. It may be the snake's speed, but still every day we are giving an honest commitment before Papa. That I come in all humility to thy holy feet and surrender myself entirely to thee. Deed to bless me ever with thy remembrance. O merciful divine master, give me strength, purity and peace. Thou art absolute power, 
omniscient and omnipresent, the word seated in the hearts of all, the word all purity, all goodness and all love, the word the veritable ocean of peace and bliss, the word the lover of thy devotees, refuge of the helpless, redeemer and saviour of those who resign themselves to thee, make me dedicate my life to thee and to thy service. By thy grace, may peace and joy always dwell in my heart. The word mother, master, friend and daughter to me. Accept me as thy child and servant. Grant me power to love thee with all my heart. That whatever I do, be a pitching offering at thy holy feet. That whatever I do, be a fitting offering at thy holy feet. Make me pure in thought, word and deed. I lay my mind at thy feet. Fill it always with thy remembrance. Let thy glorious light illumine my heart. O sustainer of the world, O kind and compassionate Lord, God of gods, give me the divine vision so that I may behold thee in all as all. Make me ever feel thy constant fellowship. May my life be guided and controlled by thee. Thy presence be ever with me, in me, and everywhere around me. I welcome thee. I prostrate before thee. Hearken to this heartful prayer of mine. Make me thine and thine only forever and ever. Make me thine and thine only forever and ever. Make me thine and thine only forever and ever. Om Shri Ram, Jai Ram, Jai Ram. Mm -hmm.
Yeah. Okay. 